Hello, and welcome back for another round of Tipsy Wednesday. I am your host, Bjorn, and with me, as usual and always, Thomas. Hello. And Junior. Hello there. Hello there, hello there. Your your microphone's still... Uh... What? Yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is it, it sounds uh, yeah, that's, yeah, now it that's, sounds better. That's louder and clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are my tipsy boys? Not very tipsy right. though. But no, oh, no, me neither. I forgot, even forgot to change cup. Mm. Even forgot to fill it as well. I have no more coffee. Bollocks. Yes. Holy shit! You're uh, you're lazy today. <laughs> yeah, bollocks, as he says, <coughs> Mister Butcher. Yeah. Um, the boys. I've been watching a lot of the boys lately. Rewatching it. Rewatching, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's good. Not in preparation for Gen V, but uh, that might be on the list when we finish up. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, well, How, uh, season four is uh, in the making, and uh, uh, rumor has it it's going to be. Uh, the most uh, gory season yet. So. Sounds like a perfect season of the boys. <laughs> Sounds like. It. Oh, uh, did you see the trailer for uh, Rick and Morty released where you can actually yes, hear the you... new Rick and Morty voices? Yeah, you sent it to me. Uh, this, I think you sent it to me, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I think um, I did. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, all right, this uh, is fine considering. Um, yeah, sounds ish the same. Sounds ish. Uh, it's uh, you can you can tell the difference, but it's close enough. Yeah, if you're not too obsessed with having the same voices, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, do you disagree? I I I think I'll enjoy the show. I think it'll be okay. Um, but it depends on how. The good the Rick voice actor will be mm. in the long run. Because mm. the trailer usually shows the best clips. Maybe they chose clips this time where the voice sounded the best or whatever. Uh, is he actually a writer of the show? Who? The, vo- the voice actor. No. Okay, so he didn't write anything. No, no. Just the same ones who have been written in, re- written the, in the last seasons. Because the guy who voiced Rick and Morty haven't uh, written any episodes in season two, I think, anyways. He went from uh, writer and voice the actor to uh, the only voice actor towards the later seasons. So so the, the writing will probably be pretty much the same as it has been the last seasons. Hmm. I... I, I... I don't know, but, but Rick and Morty had kind of like a shock value factor uh, the first season. Maybe because it was just a new um, cartoon, gory cartoon somewhat. It's, I, th- I don't know. Do you feel the same? I thought the first season was the most interesting because the idea was new. The idea was new, it's, yeah. But, uh... I don't know. Maybe you you start watching to the, the due to the characters and the uh, uh, the no. ridiculousness. The, the ridiculousness, of but you stay because of the characters, perhaps. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Who's your favorite in the show? Favorite character? Uh, it has to be Rick. Uh, uh, I think <laughs> it has to be Rick as well. He's he's toxic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. He's very, but uh, damn, he's entertaining. Yep, yep. And they made a... It's not a spoiler even, because it's revealed in the trailer. Uh, but trailers nowadays has so many spoilers. But I don't know, how do you spoil a comedy cartoon? It's like, you're not watching it for the plot anyway, so... Um, uh, hey, there are a couple of plot they, lines going on, though, with oh, yes. Morty and uh, the, the, the Rick Prime or whatever, who killed the, the original family to the current trick we are following or whatever it is yeah yeah there, there, there are a couple of main plots like lurking around uh, popping up now and then picking up the red uh, thread the, the thread mm. 
And they even made a callback to the, I think it's the most uh, recognized Rick and Morty episode to date, where Rick becomes a pickle. Pickle Rick. <laughs> I'm a pickle. Pickle Rick. <laughs> uh, they even made a callback in the trailer where he just transforms into a leg or foot. Leg. What does he say? Leg Rick or something? It's like he's just a leg with a face on where the knee usually is, and it's just his leg. <laughs> so oh, they made a callback to, yeah. to Pickle Rick in that it'll episode. Be good. I, I I think so as well. I don't um, remember the date. I said I said it would come out the tenth or something next month. Oh, it? it's no, this this month. Soon. This month. Wow. No, fifteenth this month. Yeah, that's right. Fifteenth this month. So yeah. as of. Not as a uh, recording, the, but when we release, it will be uh, the, this the weekend. This upcoming weekend. Sunday, yes. Yeah. This weekend. Yeah. I, th- I think it was this weekend. Uh, okay. I don't have my notes anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So that would be cool. And uh, less than a month away from uh, Invincible as well. New mm. season. Uh Lots of good shows as always. Yeah. Yes. As it, it's full. It's as always uh, new, new and fun stuff coming out. Animes as well. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's full, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so as well. Hmm. Up north. Yeah, 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 you guys have winter now. <laughs> we, we have winter. Snowfall. So, uh, snow worry. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, should we just power through with the nerdy topics, uh, or if nerdy topics is what you have on the list? Then so be it. Well, the but latter one is because mm. I just added it because this last weekend, me and my girlfriend went to the cinemas and watched the world premiere of Drumroll, The Exorcist, Believer, the newest Exorcist movie. It's is it a remake or just... It's a new movie. It's in just in the Exorcist universe, you could say. <laughs> mm. um, yeah, but it's... Um, it It wasn't a 10 out of 10 uh, <laughs> groundbreaking <laughs> experience. Uh, it, was, it was okay. It was okay. Um if you I, want I to honestly close kind of to a 10 out of 10 experience, uh, you should watch uh, Repossessed. Repossessed? From, from the early 90s, yeah. It's uh, it's the original girl from the original Exorcist getting repossessed, but you have the guy from um, the Naked Gun movies being the priest. Leslie Nielsen? Yeah. <laughs> huh. <laughs> He's doing an exorcism. And that is, is, is it, uh... it's stupidly fun. Oh, it's a if if yeah if you love the uh, slapstick <clears throat> uh, comedy and Exorcist, it's at least an eight out of ten experience just watching it. Ah, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, needless to say, the new Exorcist movie is not a humorous movie at all. It's <laughs> a it's a um, <clears throat> it's not a horror movie in that regard because it, you know the plot line. A tiny girl is going to get possessed by a demon. <laughs> it's uh, you, you, there's no spoilers by me saying that. That's the mm. plot of the Exorcist movies and upcoming building up to the exorcism in the final part of the movie. Um, seeing how that unfolds, and honestly, without spoiling anything, I thought it would be more. Well, gruesome things did happen, but not as. They didn't, like, up the game from the older movies. They hmm. didn't, like, up the ante. It was... Um, the effects are probably better, though. Yeah, but there was a bit... Some of these... They had some smoky effects of some shit with, like, some spirit smoky shit. And that was, like, eh, eh, okay. But it, it was an okay experience. But it wasn't breathtaking. You're breathtaking. No, it wasn't <laughs> like that. It's... Um, mm. No, it was, as my girlfriend said, it was okay. <laughs> yeah. But um, did you feel the horror? Did you get no, afraid? No, there was a, there were a few cheap jump scares. A few, a select few. But um, no, I didn't feel 
like unsettled by the atmosphere. I didn't know it was. Um, there are other movies that do that aspect uh, just because of the plot of the movie. There's no, in The Exorcist, there is no mysterious monster lurking in the shadows. There, there's, you know the monster is in the girl. She's possessed by a demon. It's right there in front of you. There's no mystery in that regard. So it's, it's, it kind of, I wouldn't say it suffers by, by me saying that it kind of implies that I think it's a bad movie, but the plot of The Exorcist kind of suffers out of the plot line itself. It's, it's not very mysterious. Um, you're not wondering what this mystical creature might be. You're not wondering what's lurking in the shadows. Yeah, but it's, is that the point of the movies at all? No, 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 no it isn't. Not, it isn't. So. Um, uh, but it it was an okay movie. Um, mm -hmm. And if you have an opportunity to go watch it at the, at the cinemas, it's an okay, it's a decent experience. Um, but it's not breathtaking. Uh, there are other horror experiences that are um, more, uh, well, both visceral and um, uh, it grabs your attention way more. But uh, this is just my opinion, though. So, so go watch it yourself. Make up your own opinion. I think it's okay. <laughs> I think it's a okay. I, it, I, I won't be going okay. to the cinema. Five out of, it, but uh... I can, like in a scale of one to ten. A five score should mean it's completely average. But in today's day and age, a five out of ten is less than average. Because an know. average Five out of ten where? Because I think if it's a five and above on IMDb, it's okay. Yeah, on IMDb. But I'm referring to movie critics and game mm -hmm. critics. They always review things seven out of ten. Okay, average. Like, no, 7 out of 10 is, like, above average. It is. <laughs> Don't you know maths? 70% okay experience. No. I, I did, however, watch... Uh, last weekend, I did watch the... Uh, finally, I got to watch uh, Fast and the Furious 10. Oh, finally? I, I, yeah, because I didn't oh, yeah, watch it. Yeah, you didn't watch it, it at the movies. I ah. didn't, and it took forever for it to be available. Uh, on streaming platforms, and I even had to rent it. Ah, uh, hmm. was it on Via Play? They are notorious for renting. Uh, yeah, but you had to rent it even on YouTube or uh, ah, okay. whichever so other it... you had. The, 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 it was rent. That was the only opportunity, and many different streaming sites had it. Ah, okay. But yeah, Via Play was the cheapest to rent it on. <clears throat> mm. And so I did, and I watched it, and I laughed very hard at it. Mm hmm. Because I really <laughs> loved the bad guy in this movie. Ah. He was fucking <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so over the top at this. But uh, the, the movie itself was so-so. Uh, it was um, less than number nine. So I was fine with that. Have you watched everyone now, Bill? No, I'm missing <laughs> number nine, I think. Yeah, because they make a joke out of one of the events in the number nine, in the tenth one. Mm, yeah, um, that's the only one I'm miss, missing out on. Yeah, uh, that, that's where that, that's point. where they have the most over the top moment in all of fast history, I would say. That has something to <coughs> do with space. It does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, space and, I, and cars. And I think it's that like... that's the most over the top uh, moment in all of Fast and Furious, uh, Fast and Furious lore. Uh, and on a good second, it's the uh, submarine scenes from the eighth movie, and. Yeah, so the number mm, ten wasn't yeah. <laughs> wasn't the most over the top movie uh, out of all of them. <laughs> um, Submarine. Yeah, you have seen yeah. the eighth movie. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, well, okay. The submarine, yeah, no, that's like, the submarine reaches the ice and chases the cars on the ice. Because yeah, no, no, the, torp the torpedo the on oh, on top of the ice. And he's hanging ah, out of the door yeah, trying yeah. to steer the torpedo with his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Steer a torpedo with his hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, oh, yeah. It, it, it's the rock, of course. It <laughs> no, was it the rock or was it the uh, the bold, the bold one? Uh, and with Diesel? Uh, no, no, the uh, the other bold one. <laughs> there are many bold people. <laughs> in uh, what was his name? Tyrese? Is that his name in the movies? Yeah. 
Okay. Perhaps. The black yeah. guy. Yeah. The black the, the, bald the, the, guy. The, the, yeah. the black bald guy, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's him or the rock. I think they end up in the same car at some point. So it, it's one of them having dealing with the. Uh, yes, because he's uh, kind of horrified to the idea that his Lambo will go to waste, but it yeah, just oh. inevitably does. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets wrecked, sunk even. Yeah, I, I think maybe they blow it up with the torpedo. I don't remember yeah, quite. It, yeah, but yeah. but the, the, that scene, the, the entire scene with the submarine and the torpedoes on the ice. It's the, the second most uh, over the top uh, moment I would say. Recently, binge watching uh, all of them, mm. uh, and the, the space scene in the ninth one is uh, the most over the top. Yeah, it's I so am... stupid. It <laughs> so unnecessary uh, as well, <laughs> in, in in a way. Yeah, um, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that. I'm just so curious it's how, funny also you get introduced to Vin Diesel's brother in that movie uh, oh, he has a Vin you have seen, he brother. was in the 10th movie you have seen yeah, him yeah 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 I can't recall the, <laughs> no because uh, yeah, you couldn't yeah, see yeah. him oh Mr. John, John Cena, Cena. Uh, Jacob okay. he okay. he helps out uh, <clears> keeping uh, <throat> the son alive during the movie the 10th one hmm. so so yeah so yes, many, that's... many, many funny moments. So, uh, I also watched the last Jurassic Park movie because I hadn't seen that either. Ah, I watched that as well. The very recently, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I find, found it uh, quite good, actually. Yes. Uh, um, out of the three new ones, I think the second one was the worst one. Mm. The they captured dinosaurs and the, the island was going under with the volcano and they captured yeah, dinosaurs. Yeah, extinction. Uh, there was an extinction, yeah, that, that was the plan, yeah. but they were supposed to save 11 species, uh, and what they did was bringing 11 species into a mansion in the middle of nowhere in America, and they had them on auction. Ah, that's the second uh, one. Uh, yeah. That, yeah, that yeah. movie isn't very good. The third one was actually quite decent, and you got the moments with the, the uh, original cast from the first movies as well. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always got to love Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He also had a cameo in the second movie, though. Of the, uh, n- the new ones. Mm. <clears throat> but I, I, with... Especially with... I wouldn't say especially, but I noticed in the third movie, there's so many CG moments where the dinosaurs almost catches them. But it the actors spend quite a bit of time in like escaping, climbing the ladder, etc. Where in reality, a an animal would have ample amount, amounts of time to catch them. Yeah, of course, there were too many so, uh, at many points in time. Yeah, so, where so they, they had to like animate the they had to animate the dinosaurs like missing and using lots of time to stagger and get up or, or etc those kinds of things like if an if a predator was out to get you they would be quick about it <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't like miss silly opportunities on slow prey like us it's uh, it, it niggles like that it's like yeah, <laughs> it seems a bit silly but mm, okay yeah, overall, I found it a decent, uh, entertaining movie. It was a decently entertaining movie. I still prefer the original movie to, to all of them. Yes, the the movie magic of the first movies. Um, hmm. They still look fucking great today. Um, Why can't they make something new? Why because it's they? expensive, very expensive. Did you know that in the first movie, the T-Rex was a real full-size scale animatronic do you know how much money avatar costs <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, animation uh, costs and, there is uh, the yeah. Avengers. There, there, there is a fucking scene in the first original um Jurassic park movie once you notice it you can't unnotice it there are um many. <laughs> there, there, there are many perhaps but there is one especially and it involves the T-Rex. Uh, we all know the scene where they sit in the cars and they see the glasses, uh, the water in the glass wobbles. Yeah. Uh, first yeah, yeah. The Tremors. 
when he okay yeah yeah, yeah one dude runs to the toilet he ends up being eaten um mm. but you sit in their cars and you have the electrical fence and on the other side of the electrical fence there is a goat standing yep. there yeah and then the dinosaur just comes through the um, the entire fence and everything yeah, yeah and in the next moment <clears throat> it pushes a car over and it falls down far down yeah like yeah. where the, the plateau the, where the goat was on and the grass and everything it's just gone it's now it's just steep <laughs> it's a uh, it's a, like a 50 meter drop where yeah, yeah, yeah. previously there was a platform with a goat yeah, and yeah, T-Rex was, was standing there yeah, no, not, like not, not, not level a platform. it was just level ground on the other side of yeah. the fence in the first <laughs> scene and the next is just straight down <laughs> yeah it's um eh. <laughs> An oversight, like uh, <coughs> quite there a few are, things. There are many oversights in many movies, though. But uh, so in many movies, once you notice things like this, you can't unsee them. <laughs> There's but, one uh, scene in the where the raptors chase the children into the kitchen. When the raptor stands in the doorway to the kitchen, it's uh, an actual animatronic figure standing there, and in the middle of the shot. Uh, the the they have to adjust the the raptor and you in the movie you can see a hand reaching out from behind the door and adjusting the <laughs> the the robot <laughs> i it's didn't notice movie. i watched this, this this summer but i didn't notice that you can see it a hand just reaches out from behind the door and just pushes the the dinosaur a bit down on the tail part the <laughs> things uh, like that goes in many older uh, there is um you know um Star Trek, hugely popular uh, sci-fi show, and mm. the original show came out in the 60s, and uh, <clears throat> on the bridge of the ship and everything, they have the sliding doors, uh, but you can actually in some scenes see people on the other side, uh, like uh, walking with the door, just shoving it to the side, because ah. it is electronic, <laughs> and you can see their feet underneath, <laughs> walk with the door. <laughs> and they're just pushing <clears throat> the door. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, you have the scene in Star Wars, where, where one stormtrooper hits his head in a doorway, yeah, I was just taller. thinking of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> it's a funny moment, though, when you noticed it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think they removed it for one of the newer edits, though. But uh, it's out there on the internet for people who want to see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stormtrooper hits his head in yeah. the doorway or something along those lines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Three uh, stormtroopers walking along uh, out the doorway, and the last one is a. Hit his head in the <laughs> top of the in door. In the doorway, yeah, yeah, because it's a bit narrow. <laughs> so, <coughs> yeah. Oh, well. Um, we love uh, production value. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fun stuff. <laughs> do, do anyone know if they kept it in the remake? But uh, Or the remake, remastered? or remake? No, I think it's cut from one of the newer remastered editions. I don't know if it's added back in, and because they have remastered it and uh, directors cut it and stuff like that uh, a lot of times to make it uh, look better compared to the newer movies. But uh, which cut it's in and not, I don't know. Just Google it; you'll find it if you're yeah. curious. Um, Stormtrooper hits head. Hmm. I I think that's all you have to search for, and you'll yeah, find yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it, it's very simple. <laughs> Shall we tackle some other topics regarding... Yeah, yeah, we've been very geeky the last couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, something else would be fine. Um, yeah, which of them do I want to tackle? Uh, okay, so a suggestion has been put forth in the... Oh, not even a suggestion. It's uh, 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 the education secretary in the UK has put forth and is trying to enforce uh, new guidelines for phone use in schools in Britain. Um, basically trying to um, restrict phone use by the students or children in schools in Britain. Like prohibit school phone use because it's distracting. It's... Uh, yeah, for a lot of reasons. And I was just thinking back to if I heard in this day and age, if I was a student or a, uh, yeah, a student in school in this day and age, 
how important phones are to our culture now, uh, I would most likely be mad and outraged. But me, today, as a grown-up person, I can see, like, hmm, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, phones are not a necessity during school. Uh, and it only provides to distract you from the focus of schoolwork. Um, so what do you guys think about this? They already do that at uh, my uh, daughter's school. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They have this uh, box which, uh, with uh, small compartments where each kid put their phone uh, at the uh, teacher's desk when mm. they enter class. I think they can use it between classes, but when you start a new class, you have to put the phone back and you go to your place. And there you have your uh, your MacBook where you can do all your work on. So, mm. <laughs> but the phones, yeah, they uh, they are not allowed in classes. Yeah, and I, I think that's a sensible approach to <sighs> for children to be able to focus on schoolwork. Because phones today are so good, not, not the phones themselves, but they enable you to access so many distractions. It's just right there on your fingertips. It's Snapchat, it's TikTok, it's Instagram, it's, it's YouTube. It's, they're all made to like grab your attention and you scroll through endless amounts of entertainment. And sure, it's fun, but it's not productive and it distracts you from schoolwork. So, yeah, I could totally understand. Mm -hmm. Junior, do you have anything to add or disagree with here? No, I'm all about not having phones. In class. Yeah, in class. <laughs> uh, am I going to play the devil's <coughs> advocate then? So you uh, want the phone in the class? <clears throat> the calculator! Uh, no, I just said my opinion. But me playing devil's advocate, if I was, let's say I was a parent for one of the students, my child in school and i would want my child to have their phone on, on them at all times because i'm so afraid of a disaster or a school shooting in school so i would want them to hold on to their phone or keep them in their pockets at all times so that they could contact me as soon as possible despite it being a, a distraction uh, at school how do you th guys think about that? Am I being completely irrational or... Um, yeah, considering we don't have... Kinda, uh, we live in Norway. <laughs> yeah, we don't have uh, school shootings here. Yeah. But there do happen stuff. Uh, I don't remember if I uh, mentioned it on this podcast or our Norwegian uh, one uh, some time back, but there was... Uh, school kid that walked into my daughter's classroom and then knocked a tooth out of the uh, teacher. Oh, damn. Um, it wasn't uh, his goal or intention to begin with. He just came in with a snowball and threw it at one of the students uh, and then started a ruckus and the teacher was trying to remove him from the classroom and he just knocked the tooth out of the teacher. Mm. And he got expelled. Well, yeah. So uh, that happened. But uh, no shootings, no <laughs> shootings as of yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Because we have strict gun laws in Norway. Yeah. Um, we do. So guns aren't readily available in most homes. Uh, that's besides the point. Um, however, if I was, um, as a parent, super protective of my child and would want my child to have their phone on them at all times, could you even see that as a reasonable argument for... Um, for claiming that your child should have their phone on them at all times, despite the other children not being allowed to. No, not really. The phones are there in the classroom. It's just not available at your desk or in your pocket. Hmm. But it's there, and if something happens, usually the school, at least here in Norway, the school will call you right away. What if everybody is dead at the school? Uh, <laughs> if, there's a ma if, there, if there ever were to be a mass shooting at the school, what would you do if you got the call? Just show up at school 
to be shot as well. I think most, I think a lot of parents would, despite not being armed themselves, just to see if they could do anything to protect their children uh, or get them out of there. Or not the children, your, your children. Their children, <laughs> yeah, your children. Child, your children. Um, My yeah, child. I, I think, yeah, I think so. Despite you as a parent going to the rescue of your child or your children, Despite you being unarmed, I think a lot of parents would do that. I don't think they would be twiddling their thumbs at work. Like, okay, no, I, I do I get it. Do if, it. I, if I got the phone call that was shoot out at my uh, daughter says school, I would uh, show up uh, quite fast to uh, fetch her and, uh, <laughs> and yeah, everything. Yeah. But, uh, exactly, but, exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you think? But I don't think it would help if she called me during a shootout, <laughs> like hiding under the desk, people shooting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, uh, I hope someone called the police before they called me. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. Yeah, well, um... But, uh, don't you bring your gun to work? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't have a gun. Uh, did you see... Uh, or did you, uh, There's this uh, show called uh, Reno 911 or something. It's a police comedy sitcom show. Oh. And oh. they are hired... Uh, the, there's one scene uh, where two of the police officers are hired to be guards at the school and they have this metal detector that all the students are walking through and every student uh, gets past it, it doesn't beep or nothing and the police officer are, are like, yeah, there's really good kids at uh, this school and everything and then they notice that uh, it isn't plugged in. Ah, and it's like, oh shit! And then you hear the, all the shooting starts behind them. Oh, no. <laughs> every, every kid had a gun with them. Oh no! <laughs> it's oh, uh, no. it's supposed to be quite a fun show, though. They made a movie okay. as well where uh, Dwayne Johnson have an uh, a very awesome uh, cameo. All the good police are out of town, and you are stuck with the Reno nine one one apartment the department that is. They, they suck balls oh. <laughs> and there is this uh, terror attack and uh, they have to uh, try and fix it and then The Rock shows up because he's still in town and he's one of the awesome good police guys uh, and then he drops a grenade and when he tries to pick it up he actually kicks it away and he ends up being blown away oh no <laughs> it's just a funny tidbit but he shows up uh. he knows what he's doing he knows everything and the other jerks are just not knowing anything, and he ends up dying, and they have to take charge, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! The I haven't irony. seen the the movie through, though. I just seen that clip, but um, I suppose they will manage to save the day in the end, though. But uh, mm. in their own in some quirky way, yeah. way, yeah. Hmm. But yeah, well. at school, no, don't. So, so they're oh, available, oh, oh. but they're not in their pockets. Yeah, they can use them in between classes, as I said. So. Mm. All right. And uh, as the environment is in Norway, that's fine. Yeah, I think so as well. This is Norway, not America and Sweden. So. <laughs> yeah, you, you could can say put, that you in can this put day those and in age. The same, <laughs> in the same category now. Uh. Should we address that as well? We just did in the Norwegian uh, podcast with the situation in Sweden. They know, they know. Trump yeah. told them six years ago or something. Did he? Yeah, he did. He talked about nah. the terror attack in Sweden six years ago, but there wasn't a terror attack on that uh, particular day when he said it. So he saw the future. But he referenced it uh, uh, recently. Mm. <laughs> Though. <laughs> I'm not compelled to become a Trump supporter, even despite that, <laughs> but uh, okay. <laughs> um, sure. Yeah. Well. He just used his foresight, you know, when he was president. Mm, mm, and he said something he, was, he had seen that hadn't happened yet. Because that's powers you get as president, I guess. Now Biden, he lost his mind when <laughs> he got yeah. elected. <laughs> Uh, he, yeah. doesn't, he can't even find his way off a stage. Yeah, he's uh, he's in a bad way. He's in a bad shape, I guess. He's um, yeah, he's not the only one. Mitch McConnell as well. He's one of the uh, 
the guys from one of the departments underneath. He freezes uh, a lot of the times when he's doing press conferences and stuff, and he just space out. Oh. And that's not good as well. And he's also like 80-something, I think, or late 70s or whatever. People who should have left the <laughs> political environment long time ago. Yeah, the, the, I guess there's no retirement age in when politics. You're in the polit in politics in America. There's no you don't retire. You just and of course by just virtue of being old and being in politics for your entire lifetime, the most um, qualified people would be the ones with the most experience, the ones who are seventy or eighty years old. Like so Joe Biden. There you there you go. I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, because I can they're not retired. I can understand they're... it to a certain point as well, because you don't want the newer generation to uh, get a hold of the uh, all the power. Well, not the newest gener generation, but somewhere in between would be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but <laughs> not, not the ones those, who are uh... ready to walk themselves into the coffin, but not the ones who just got their license either. It's uh, <laughs> um, somewhere in between would be nice. Um, yeah. Anyways, so I was scrolling through Reddit. Oh, once again, yeah, as, as I do, occasionally do. I'm not a huge fan of Reddit, but there are some interesting topics, which just makes my mind. I think any topic or every topic is on Reddit if you just search for it. <clears throat> I, I, yeah, I guess, but this was just something I scrolled through and was like, huh, that's. Uh, interesting so it was on the subreddit which is short it says aita which is short for am i the asshole um <coughs> so uh there was this couple wait wait before you go on i have noticed uh a lot of podcasts doing these things oh uh but i don't know if they find them on reddit or if people actually sent them to them but they read out uh, am i the asshole stories and oh. then the, the, the people on the podcast judge if they are the asshole or if it's the other guys or whatever. Mm. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, well, that, that I guess this would be pretty much the same then. Uh, a question whether or not this couple are the assholes in this situation or if it, they're not assholes. Um, so this couple, um, they... Do we even say, well, she was pregnant. They were pregnant as a couple. Um, and they wanted to announce it at a family gathering. It was some sort of uh, dinner party where most of the family would be gathered. And they planned to announce that they were pregnant during this family gathering. Um, so they all show up nice and dandy. But something is off uh, with uh, one of the other couple. I think it was the brother or the sister or... Um, uh, brother or sister of one of from um, of the couple that was pregnant and that couple they were also pregnant but they had announced it way earlier it was well known that they were pregnant um but something was off with that other couple um so during the dinner uh, everything was fine and dandy they the other couple kind of like started to make an announcement and lo and behold, uh, they announced that something very sad had happened. They had lost their child in, um, not in childbirth, but they had to, the ch child was dead before it was even born. Still born? So, yeah, yeah, yeah they, it was like, they, they had to like remove the child because it was dead. So that was like, holy shit, that's kind of a f fucked up thing. Uh, but they kind of felt they needed to tell the whole family it was a very sad situation uh but then again you have the first couple that i mentioned that was pregnant and wanted to announce that they were going to have a child and they kind of uh, people had noticed they were shopping like baby things and baby clothes and it was already kind of hinted to that they were going to have a child so they were kind of forced to announce because someone was asking them after uh, some time afterwards during the dinner party that hey you guys have baby stuff were you planning to give it to this other couple 
It was like, no, they were actually... they, And then they announced that they were going to have a child. They were pregnant. Which is like, eh. Kind of <clears throat> super bad timing, <laughs> if um, if anything. This other couple, the brother or sister of them, was announcing they had a dead child that they had to remove during their pregnancy. And this other couple announcing, hey, sad about that stuff, but hey, we have, we're expecting a child, so yay. Um, <laughs> what do you guys think about that? It's, um... I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Junior, what's your take on this? Uh, did the couple know that uh, they had... Um, uh, did the couple with the, the baby, right? Which of them? The first one or the ones that had to remove the baby? The, the one, the first one. The first one that they were announcing they were pregnant? Yeah, did they know if the other couple had a miscarriage? No, they didn't. Nobody yeah. knew. Yeah, then you're not yeah, the then, asshole. then they're not the asshole. But if the other couple had just told that we had a miscarriage and then these guys come just follow that up with yeah by the way we are having a child <laughs> it was kind of like because i for the love of my life i couldn't re-find the article or the post i tried searching for it I, I forgot to bookmark it but it was something along those lines yeah because they had started to buy baby clothes and such and someone else thought that they bought baby clothes because they wanted to give it as a gift to the second couple. Which was like, oh, that's a shame you bought this baby stuff for them. Um, and But no, actually we bought this baby stuff for our child because we're pregnant. Yay. So... It, so yeah, that's if I'm like, understanding this right, I don't think they're the asshole if they didn't know. No, nobody knew, no, but no, it was didn't. kind of a very super bad timing. Yeah, um, but you don't know it's a bad timing because you don't you know don't that know. they lost their child. So, uh, yeah. no, they're not. Uh, if they had known and gone ahead with it, it would have been a dick move, but they didn't know. So, I think they were. It was just fine. unfortunate. Yeah, maybe. it was very. unfortunate, very unfortunate, but they're not assholes for doing what they kind of planned to do and came to do and didn't know the other couple had lost their child. So. Yeah, because as far as I remember, it was a situation where they couldn't like postpone their announcement. They couldn't be like, oh, well, let's just hush it for now and tell them some other day because someone already suspected. Uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was some intricacies right there, but. Yeah, but, but then again, uh, as they didn't know, they're not assholes. Yeah. They kind of felt that they, that's why this person posted this, because it was one, it was one of the first said couple that posted this. Yeah, but... They uh, kind of felt super bad, but... Yeah, um, yeah of course you feel super bad. <laughs> because, uh, because the other couple told afterwards? Or something? No, the other couple told... They were first ahead of them, telling them that they had a miscarriage. Yeah, yeah. Then you just go, oh, and then you don't speak of it anymore. <laughs> oh, you're an uh, announcement as well. Keep silent. And <laughs> Let's do yeah, this well, another they day. Could, they yeah. couldn't keep silent. Yeah, they, they, they could. They could have told it the next day to the other people at the table, except those. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. But something they couldn't for some reason, but I can't remember the exact reason. But it was something along the lines of that they had already bought a lot of baby stuff and they couldn't like um, hide it uh, for some reason. I can't remember the details, but that's besides the point. They sh uh, they should, if they could, uh, have waited. Mm. to the day after or a few days after to like distance themselves from that um, mournful sad situation but yeah just uh, just very unfortunate timing and a very unfortunate situation yeah so, um, mm. well 
So I, I guess we all agree on that, like, actually, for once. <laughs> ah, I think it's... so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know want to end this show by saying, uh, did you see the... Um, uh, I, hope, <laughs> I hope it's a prank. Uh, there's this dude. It is filmed. It must be a prank. He walks out on the balcony and he shouts down to a crowd of people like, uh, my sister's having a baby. And the entire crowd goes, yay. And then he follows up with, I'm going to be a dad. And the entire crowd downstairs is like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and, I, and I hope that's a prank. But <laughs> there's a dude doing that. <laughs> Hopefully, if they are brothers and sisters, they're separate. <laughs> like, you kind of said it like they had. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. So yeah. I hope they are either separate or they it was done as a prank just to yeah. see how the crowd down or the down on the streets reacted. Mm. But uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny though. <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine it's like it's probably a situation where they that's true for but they're both separate couples. <laughs> it's uh, she's having a baby and he is becoming a father. But, uh, separately <laughs> <laughs> with separate partners not each other so, yeah cause, well yeah because that would be sweet home alabama yeah insert meme here yeah and on that note <laughs> yeah and on that note i would like to thank our listeners for sticking with us for yet another episode of tipsy wednesday um follow us in the link below it leads to all of our social medias um feel free to praise us give us hate love um ask us questions you'd like us to discuss if you have a problem yeah, with anything, to, to tell us what you want us to discuss want us to yeah, do more yeah. uh, mids old stuff other things you want us to do whatever we're all op open for suggestions so and we're always well, yeah. open for hate comments. Yeah, yeah, sure. So we sure, can bring sure. them up here and talk about them. <laughs> yeah, that's all this fair criticism, I, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. It's good fun. Yeah, yeah, didn't you? We got criticism once. I, I, It was a YouTube comment. It was someone posting that, why the fuck am I getting this shit in my recommended feed? Yes, and I yeah. think we talked about it as well. Back yeah. <laughs> we also, on the Norwegian podcast on the YouTube feed, we have a perfect score, 100% likes all the way, until I released um, one of our uh, Easter um, uh, skits that we made for the Norwegian podcast, where I'm dressed up as a very uh, radiant gay person, and people didn't mm. like that. Oh, um, did someone dislike that? Yeah, someone disliked oh. it, and we lost a follower <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> so someone was following us, and then I did a skit where I were this uh, radiant gay person. You were acting as a gay person, but you're obviously not a gay person, so no, mm. maybe that knows. someone <laughs> felt offended, disliked the video, and left. F fair that enough happens, I guess but I also did in the next skit I did I played a drunk guy and I played this beach guy playing uh, frisbee and football and whatnot in the scene and um, I did lots of stuff but but it was the gay part there the, the, that I played a gay person that was mm. obviously really really like uh, flamboyant and super mm. gay is it okay to say gay? <laughs> Actually. Yeah, I, I yeah. guess, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just went yeah. over the top with the character and I wanted to have fun doing this as kids, so. Yes, I guess we are yeah. done then. We yes, are done. we are done. So, thank you all and... See you in a week. <laughs> yes, goodbye. Bye.